So I'm Chaitra Acharya. I'm the lead SRE at the Economist Intelligence Unit. So I'll be giving a um, uh, talk on lessons from the migration of Microsoft and Windows-based application. So I'll just go to the legacy side of uh, the migration. So what, how our applications are um, uh, made is, so legacy .NET applications like 3.5. And we are now evolving and moving to .NET Core and AWS based and Microsoft based applications and moving there. So uh, in 2018, um, our entire um, uh, infrastructure was maintained by on-premise. Um, and then we decided to move to the cloud-based application, so which was uh, so hectic because it's a legacy-based application. And SQL 2008, we were running. And we had, we had to do a, a, a migration and think about all the dependencies that took like uh, since to, since 2000 and then entire 10 years of migration it was hectic and um, so um, it's a, a small talk uh, and what what were the dec decisions so uh, behind moving AWS and there were like three initiatives that we took business initiatives and partner selection and application architecture though the monitoring and alerts so those are uh, managed by our cloud service provider um, but still, so we have a DevOps team and we, we entirely take care of all the AWS infrastructure. And I'll talk about the major learnings of um, after moving to AWS. So uh, just think that uh, when you migrate to anything, any cloud-based infrastructure, so not just migrating to the AWS is end of your journey. So re-eventing re uh, your infrastructure and make it easy, secure, scalable by accessing the deep set of tools. And uh, one important thing that we were uh, having a lot of struggle at is the data copy. Because we had around uh, 500 to uh, 500 gigs of data, which we had to move to AWS. And I mean, we could have uh, maybe um, you used uh, FTP, but we just did the robocopy and then moved our uh, um, infrastructure from old environment to the AWS. Um, um, everybody says maybe uh, the cloud-based uh, infrastructure suits the best for the Linux-based application, so uh, which I think now is not true. But when, when we directly moved to the AWS infrastructure, I thought that, yeah, it's a difficult thing. Maybe we could have had the Linux-based application and which are lightweight. Uh, but I don't think it's true now uh, because we have a lot of services which are provided by AWS and which are really um, suitable for the .NET-based application. So Windows opportunities are a little less. And make sure you are study well before you take any decisions or move to any of the services in AWS. And uh, we went ahead with the discovering uh, what are all the dependencies we have uh, from a lot of applications because we did a lift and shift. So we, I mean, there is something called a concept called lift, tinker, and shift. So we did not upgrade any of our applications. We just migrated. We did a lift and shift to the uh, AWS. <clears throat> so challenges in the culture. So understanding the server, application, database, data dependencies followed by sizing. Uh, which was a lot of um, uh, decision and we had we had to have a lot of discussion on um, how to have the right sizing on AWS and everything. Uh, for example, so we had um, we had a lot of SQL jobs which were running um, in uh, Microsoft which were using Microsoft SQL. And when we moved to AWS, we took the decision of moving to Amazon-based RDS. And RDS did not support SSIS. So in that case, we made use of AWS Glue, uh, which had a similar, expe similar experience of how the SSIS used to work. And um, uh, Glues are very good. Um, so long-term uh, vision and the roadmap on AWS, which is very important when you, when you move to uh, AWS or any any cloud native uh, infrastructure. So where you want to be in AWS in the in the in the next five years? For example, we do not have we did not have anything uh, um, like CI/CD implementation because we used to use Hudson. Um, I mean, uh, it's a it's a legacy based uh, CI/CD uh, tool, 
but we have now started using um, elastic beanstalk and uh, we we have we are also introducing ecs so it's it's evolving i mean maybe uh, you can establish a ccoe which is a, a cloud center of excellence you can make use of in within your um, devops team within your sre team uh, have a cloud center of excellence and they will be researching on the new technologies that are going to come which are in the market and which are in aws and which are in gcp maybe if you if you decide to move there so they will be um, they will be um, researching on what are what are new in the market and what what is suitable in your infrastructure which is very good option and concentrating on the new business initiatives which are uh, going to come and uh, re always rewrite your applications and resizing the instances because it is going to it's going to be very helpful in the long run um I think that's it. Yeah, um, it's a short talk on how the migration helped us in AWS. And uh, one thing is that have a plan for the execution and shoot for the success, but not for the per perfection. Thank you.